Hey everyone, welcome back to the Stosca Automation Playlist. And today we are going to discuss about another interesting feature which is available in the Tosca uh, tool. So we are going to talk about uh, how you can use the recording feature to develop our automated test cases. So until now we have been uh, basically scanning the modules of a particular web application or desktop application and then create a test case from that module. But there is also a feature called recorder, okay? Through which you can record all your actions which are performing on a particular application and Tosca will automatically create the necessary modules and the test cases for you. So you don't need to uh, do it every time manually. Obviously, uh, the preferred way is to scan your own modules and uh, prepare your own structure. But if you want to uh, do a quick round of uh, test on your application, whether it is feasible for uh, you to work with Tosca, then uh, you can use this uh, particular way of quickly recording all your actions on your web application. And then uh, you can do that feasibility analysis of whether uh, Tosca is feasible for your web application or not. Okay, or even for small applications where you need a quick automation solution, you can use this recording feature, okay? So uh, talking about uh, the recorder, okay, so it is available on the home menu bar. It is the last option you can see here. Uh, it's called a uh, recorder uh, and automated test case, okay? Now there are two options here. One is automated test case, which you can create. You can also create an automated data-driven test cases, okay? So this will basically also include a test sheet from where uh, you can drive your test case based on the data provided. Okay, now let's look at some of the options which are available in this uh, recorder menu. Okay, so first, if you want to uh, start off with this recorder feature, then either you can select from these two options or you can directly click on this. Okay, and then uh, it will start loading the recorder as you can see. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there is a recorder in the background which is coming up here, and this is the recorder menu. Okay. So if the first option is to show all the recorder settings. Then uh, you can create a image based test step. Okay, so we have already seen how you can do uh, image based automation in Tosca and the same you can do it here. Okay, um, and then uh, you can also switch to verification mode in this particular recorder. Okay. Now uh, there are other options. Uh, here is the pause button and here is the stop and save button. Okay, and uh, here is the recorder uh, option, right? So I can uh, pause this particular recording, okay? And um, I can navigate between different pages of uh, my application. I can uh, stop and save uh, my recording once it is finished. I can switch to verification mode, okay? Uh, using this uh, tick sign, and you can also do a image based test step. Okay, so if I click on this, um, then I can just um, basically do a image based control. Okay, so you can see here, it will, it is the same functionality which uh, we did from the module section, but you can do it here as well. Okay. Uh, to cancel, uh, you just press escape and it will go back uh, to the previous mode. Okay. Uh, we can see the recorder settings uh, right here. Okay, so here you can see uh, auto record mouse over is off right now. You can keep the hints on, uh, you can reuse existing modules. Okay. Uh, you can also um, block some processes uh, from recording. Uh, you can use this shortcuts uh, to maybe change the recording mode or uh, record mouse over or refresh the recorder. Okay, so these are all the settings uh, which are available in the recorder. Now, um, how you can record basically. So once you click on uh, the record option, it will start recording your screen. Okay, and uh, it will record the whole screen. As you can see, there are four corners uh, which are being displayed on each corner. There is a red sign. That means it is recording, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, stop this recorder now. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the menu 
which is available with the recorder, but we'll go ahead and record a particular uh, flow from my application and I will show you, okay? But as you can see, once you stop and save uh, the recorder, it will create a folder and then it will create all the uh, modules which were recorded and as well as the test cases. And if you use any verifications, those will also be captured, okay? So that will be created, a uh, folder will be created in your project, as you can see here, okay, with the modules and test cases. So that's how the recorder works. So let's go ahead and record a particular scenario. I'm going to use uh, the demo web shop from Presentis to record a particular end-to-end -end scenario and show you how the test cases and modules are created, okay? So here, uh, let's click on automated test case. Okay, so it will record it. Now let's go to our website and here uh, we are going to click on login. And then um, it will type the email address and the password, okay, and then click on login. And then um, I will go to some uh, item, I will add it to the cart. And then I will go to the cart. Once uh, this has been added, let's try one more time. Okay, click on add to cart. And then go to the shopping cart. Here, um, I'm going to check out. And then I'm going to uh, go through all the steps mentioned uh, in the checkout, uh, the billing address, shipping address, uh, everything, okay? So this is basically end-to-end uh, -end, uh, flow of this particular application. So I'll go through all the steps and the recorder will record it, okay? Just click on continue till uh, I reach the final confirmation. Okay, so this is the final confirmation page. I will click on confirm. Okay, and you can see uh, there is a hint showing press control shift plus H to record a mouse over event, or you can press a five to refresh the recorder, or uh, you can also press control shift V to switch to verification mode. Okay, so if I press control shift V, v here, okay, or uh, I can go to the menu and uh, I can click on this, right? And then um, I can just, okay, so that uh, once you click on any particular uh, control, then it will be added to the verification, right? Now I will go back or I will turn off the verification mode and I will click on continue. Okay, so, and then I can maybe click on log out. So that's that's the complete flow of this uh, shopping website where we have added a product to the cart and we have checked out that product, okay? So that's our complete flow. And now I'm going to uh, stop and save this recording and we'll see uh, what has been recorded so far, okay? So as you can see, a new folder has been created uh, and all the modules have been automatically created, okay, with the module attributes. Uh, you can obviously change all these naming conventions because these are the default naming conventions which have been used by Tosca. And it's recommended if you are using this in your test cases for a real execution, uh, you should change all this, okay? Depending on what action you are providing, you can do this. So as you can see, um, one of the examples is we are clicking on the login button. So the value is X, which means it is clicking on this. Action mode is input, right? Um, similarly, uh, again, login, it is going to desktops and clicking on it um, and then add to cart. Okay, so uh, whatever you have performed, whatever actions you performed on the application, it has been recorded uh, and it has been provided you in the test case based on the steps, okay? You can see there is also uh, a verification uh, here. Uh, whenever I changed to uh, the verify mode and I clicked on that particular text, it is verifying whether this inner text is um, the same, which is displayed in the application. Because once the order is placed, I want to verify whether this order number was verified, okay? 
so that verification step is also there uh, so you can do both you can uh, record your actions you can also put verifications while you are recording your actions okay and then um, it is clicking on log out okay so there might be some uh, repeated steps which you may need to remove because maybe you uh, i have clicked um, this three times and that's why there are three verifications or two verifications one of them i have to remove okay i need to change few things uh, this order number is static right now so maybe i need to verify i need to modify this test case right so not everything uh, would be ready once you record your test case you need, obviously need to make some changes before you try to run this again but at least uh, you don't need to uh, go ahead and um, basically scan each module separately that will take a little longer yeah as you can see here as we are interacting with the application everything was recorded for you okay it's not the perfect way of doing it but it's the quickest way uh, if you compare it to the other way where you scan each module and then you build your own test case okay so in some situations uh, this method could be useful this recorder feature could be useful okay uh, but in most cases uh, you will be scanning your own modules and building your own test cases okay so that's how uh, you can use the uh, tosca recorder feature to uh, automate your test cases uh, the modules and test cases will be automatically created you can add your own verifications uh, you can also do a image based test step uh, maybe i'll show it sometime later but if you're trying to use this then this is the way how you do it so that's all for this particular video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today uh, on Tosca. So keep watching for more videos uh, which are coming up pretty soon um, on Tracentis Tosca. So until we meet again, uh, keep watching our channel and do subscribe uh, to our channel so that uh, you get notified about each and every video which we post on our channel.